What's up everybody? It's been, it's been a good while, a little too long if I do say so myself. It's really that the month of December was just super busy, man. Everything from traveling, birthdays, Christmas, New Year's, and thankfully client work. Hey, boss. Oh, Jason, <laughs> where are we going? Disneyland. You guys heard that? We're going to Disneyland. Although I personally hate not being consistent on YouTube and putting out videos, it hasn't been for no reason. I've been staying really busy with client work, which is a very good thing. This being my first video of the new year, I thought I could mainly be focused on what I learned this past year and also how I'm trying to improve going into 2022. This whole last year, I basically spent working as a server, trying to save up as much as possible for mainly one reason. For those of you who may have seen some of my recent videos, I'm leaving the United States in roughly one month and that still hasn't quite hit me yet. I'll be traveling and hopefully living in Southeast Asia. At the moment, the length of my travels are pretty undecided, but I will be keeping you guys in the loop throughout the entire journey. I'm most definitely excited to be leaving, um, but I will say that more recently, a little bit more nervousness has crept in. And really these past couple weeks, I've been really trying my best to just keep myself grounded mentally. So although I made pretty good progress towards the goals that I had of saving up and getting ready for this trip, there were definitely moments throughout the year where I felt this feeling of stagnation. I spent a great deal of my time this year doing work that I didn't necessarily want to be doing, but in the grand scheme of things, I knew that it was work that had to be done in order for me to do more of the things that were more fulfilling to me. Something that I feel that's hard to keep in mind whenever we're starting down a particular path is that a lot of the times we have to do the things that we don't necessarily love in order to get to the things that we do love. And I feel like that's what this past year was a representation of for me. Nonetheless, I took a few different lessons from 2021 and, and hopefully they could be valuable to you going forward. Let's just say that there's something in your life that you currently wanna change or you have the desire to pursue something. Before you venture off, I think it's super important to First, understand why it is that you want to change and the purpose behind what you want to pursue. There's going to be inevitable roadblocks that you're going to face, both internal and external. And if you don't have a deeper purpose behind what you're going after, you'll be much more likely to quit. If you aren't exactly sure what it is that you need to change or what it is that you want to pursue, just start heading in a direction that you have a feeling might be slightly better in your current position. Maybe that entails treating those around you a little bit better. Maybe it means having a more positive attitude throughout the day. Maybe doing those things will eventually lead you to wanna to start getting up earlier to knock out some of the more tedious things that you don't wanna do, but you know you have to. Those are just a few everyday examples, but the point is, is that you might not definitively know where it is you're going at first, but at least you'll know that you are heading in a better direction and that's better than being completely lost. While it's essential to have goals and aspirations that you work hard to reach, I feel that it's equally important to not allow your overall happiness to be based on the progress towards those goals. First off, I'm slowly learning myself that the attainment of a certain goal will not solve all your problems. The sense of accomplishment and acknowledgement that we all love and seek when we're going after something. Most of the time it doesn't last and with every goal reached, another one immediately takes its place. And second, great things take time, like more time than we think. And in the process of pursuing something that you desire, you may not get that reinforcement that you're looking for, especially when you're first starting out and that can be so discouraging. I feel like the better approach, one that I'm trying my best to implement as well, is to consciously allow your overall happiness and self-worth to be more predicated on how you make those around you feel, on your ability to bring out the best in other people, on your willingness to allow others to 
bring out the best in you and probably the most important, the quality of the experiences you have with the people you love. Not to say that achieving your goals isn't of utmost importance, but at the end of the day, your story and your accomplishments are made special when you can share them with those around you.